What's going on guys? It's Freddie Charles here and I wanted to just give you a little tip on how to really build the paradiddle diddle. Now those of you that know me know that the paradiddle diddle is probably my favorite rudiment. Actually it is my favorite rudiment, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's, it's a great rudiment to make you look probably better than you are once you master it because it's very fast, it's very smooth, it's a combination of six notes and it keeps coming back to that that leading hand. So when you loop it, it just keeps, it flows. It flows really nicely. But it takes some time and practice to build it up to, to breakneck speeds. Um, you know, you have to start from the beginning. So real quick, what is a paradiddle diddle? It's just a paradiddle. We'll do it right-handed paradiddle. It's a paradiddle with an extra diddle at the end. So right, left, right, right. Diddle at the end, so right in front of the To build it up, instead of looping it, because that's what this rudiment does, instead of looping it, looping it, what I like to do is just play it by itself. So for instance, and once you're comfortable with that, because what this is going to do is get your hands, your, your fingers and your hands kind of getting the control and accuracy that you need, make it fast. So that's kind of the trick I use to build it up. Once you get there, you should be able to smoothly play it all across the drums. So if you're looking for more information on how to develop your paradiddles, double singles, paradiddle diddles, all the different variations, I have an entire course on mastering the paradiddle. And it's especially for people that play traditional grip like me. Um, you'll find it very helpful and I, I go into detail on how to get these rudiments really sounding good, clean, and fast. Until next time, guys. See ya.